ago, I was visiting with someone that was very critical of Lutherans, very critical of Lutherans and their understanding of baptism. Their question was, how can you Lutherans say that baptism now saves you? Now, the snarky answer would have been, because Peter says so. But I did take the opportunity to be a little more tactful and say, let's look at what God says in His Word. So we jumped into that verse from 1 Peter. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience. And here's the important part. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You see, that person was so critical because they thought that baptism was something that the church did. It was just a rite of the church. Water and the Word, and now we say you're saved. They couldn't see that baptism is automatically and fully connected to the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In the Catechism, Luther starts out in the second part and he says, what benefit does baptism give? It works forgiveness of sins. You see, that's why in that First Peter verse, it is so important that we don't stop with baptism now saves you, but we get all the way to Jesus. It's Jesus that saves us. His work on the cross 2,000 years ago is what saved us from our sins. His death, His blood shed for us. His glorious resurrection on the third day, all given to us in the waters of baptism. He won it for us and delivered it to us in the water of baptism through the promises that God made. What benefit does baptism give? It works forgiveness of sins. And that's why this is such a great gift. It's not simply a rite from the church, but it is where God connects us to the work of our Savior Jesus Christ. We see the same thing in Acts chapter 2. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You see, where God commands, He supplies. And is said to us very clearly through the Scriptures, believe and be baptized. And in that baptism, God delivers to us the gifts that He wants us to have. He gives us faith to believe His Word. He gives us forgiveness that Christ is one for the cross. And most importantly, He gives us an identity not one that we create, but one that He creates when He brings us from death to life, when He covers us in the white robe of His righteousness, when He makes us His own sons and daughters and makes eternal promises to you. I will be with you always, Jesus says. That's the gift, the benefit of baptism, the forgiveness of sins through Jesus and the eternal promises that God gives to you.